anybody worried about uh, the revenge game? TJ Hawkinson? Anybody worried about? Yeah, we we Malcolm got a blank in him. We shut him down. I, I guess or? that's the big topic we should be. T- How do you stop? T.J. Hawkinson but, and his five he, catches for 43 you know yards. Up, Neil? It's because I almost forgot he was playing for them. Yeah, and that's pretty. Well, sad. what do you do? WoodworkSports.com chat thread. Give it. Give me your best T.J. Hawkinson defensive ideas. How do you combat five catches for 42 yards? What do you do about it? Because I know as as a defensive coordinator, Aaron Glenn hasn't slept since Sunday. He's been sitting there scheming, trying to think of ways to defend T.J. Hawkinson. And what can we do to stop him yeah. from gaining 126 feet on five catches? <laughs> what can we do about it? What do you do? I don't know. Is that tall and Sam? Uh, that's, you know what, though, Neil? You're, you're valid in what you said because I just found a stat. Since TJ Hawkinson was traded to the Minnesota Vikings, he is averaging a whopping 7.5 yards per catch. Electric. Unbelievable. How do you stop that guy? you got to put Kirby Joseph and Malcolm on him. Double him yeah. every play. Every that single is, play. That is prime Tony Gonzalez. Here we go. Weezy D313. This is the kind of analysis I'm looking for from the people right now. I think this is great. This is a great idea. Weezy D three one three. How to stop TJ Hawkinson? Get to a valuable third down. Yeah. Just like, make it third like down. Third and four with two minutes left in the fourth or something like that. Right. That's how you stop him. I just I don't know what. To, I'm glad I'm not Aaron Glenn this weekend to try to scheme to stop TJ Hawkinson. It's a tall order. Now, in all seriousness, right? No, I'm being serious. <laughs> Well, I think you should be serious because I think that obviously the game plan has to be to shut down Thielen and Jefferson again, right? But do you really think they're going to be able to shut down Jefferson or do you believe what the receivers are going to do? It's just about limiting them. You let you let guys like Justin Jefferson beat you. You cannot let TJ Hawkinson beat you. Yeah. The star that's coming into the game, the $12 million a year tight end, soon to be, that's who you have to worry. I'm not taking Justin Jefferson questions, DMAC, from you, from the audience. This is the only topic today, tomorrow, oh, the only man. thought on my mind. Everything I'm thinking about as a Lions fan this weekend revolves around not stopping TJ Hawkinson. Limiting. You can't stop yeah. him. He won't be stopped. You can't prevent five catches for 42 yards. He's proven that. Yeah, that's true. You can't stop that from happening. You gotta like like how Iguodala got Finals MVP for holding LeBron to 30 points a game. You need to hope you can hold TJ Hawkinson to three catches for 30 yards. And that would be your best case scenario. And and the people are saying at Max Mayer, I'd rather play against Travis Kelsey. I agree with you. <laughs> I'd have less fear than I do of TJ Hawkinson. <laughs>